Brussels sprouts are due. I should think. If we can get a look in there, look. Brussels sprouts. Broccoli's due. Oops. So that'll be for lunch today as well. These are garlics, they're just coming through. They should be all right. These are my onion plants to give me spring onions and then seed. So they're coming through. These have been replanted. These are coming through nicely. And we've got our leeks, look. The leeks are coming along slowly, but coming along. We've got white radish here. I don't really know why I want it. It's not that tasty, but I think the seeds would be good for the chickens. I had to reuse a bit of old plastic. I'm going to put a new one on here later this week. So that's the seed beds. Bits going on over there, look. It's work for today. Raspberries, if I get it right. That's raspberry. This is from last year, the long ones. And some of them I had to replant. So that's ready. And the new one should be coming through soon. Strawberry beds need a bit of a sort out look. I've brought in earth that's a bit, bit dirty, I'll sort that out. But that was composting from other people's. So that's done. There's a line of potatoes there. There's a line of potatoes there. There's a line of potatoes there. These are all earlies. They're just about to come up, I suppose. There will be more here and here. They're lines of potatoes. This is important mulching. This is knit bone. I can't remember what we'd call that. Knit bone. It's one of the trees I planted this year. more strawberries. These were kind of thrown away and given away. This is an amazing camellia bush. I uh, actually did it from a cutting and it's come along nicely. I had more here but they've died off. Some fruit trees look. Uh, I won't tell a lie, I won't tell you what it is at the moment. This is a replanted fruit tree. It's coming along this was re-transplanted out of somebody's balcony. It was 15 years old. Here will be my mushroom beds. I've got one here and I've got one here. They're mushroom beds. So, fruit trees, that's a cherry. It's not whatever it is. Yeah, I think it's a cherry. Something bad happens to some of my plants along the edges. I think some people kind of put um, weed killer or something, maybe. Here we've got, and it did suffer as well, look at these spots on the leaves. I think there is weed killer going on. And let's hope it comes back. I've got to sort all this out this week. Needs cutting back, digging out and replanting. Which are medicinal herbs. Here's my beautiful holly. Hello, holly. Bean in flower. Still a few more going on, I suppose. But it's now going to uh, fruit, which I think it's its first year in fruit this year, which is very good. Something else has been attacking this look. I think people are using uh, horrible stuff. So that's that will be. Uh, Le 
pista nuda, I think they call that, which is a cletosibi. Cletosibi. There you go, one of those. Another one of my amazing camellia bushes. This is Tama Naura. Sorry, we'll go back to these. This has never actually flowered before. This was done from seed, not by me, from somebody else. This was a present. It's never actually shown flower, but it seems to be of the whitish variety. Seems to be. <clears throat> this, which we saw before, was Freedom Bell, and it looks like it's going to come into flower late, which it should. All of my camellias come through at different times of the year. This is an early one, the Tamanauda. The apple tree gave apples this year. The lemon tree is giving lemons now, you see. Hasn't been that happy. I think there's some kind of spraying going on, if I tell you all the truth. That's gone to sleep. It's never given fruit. It's been here a few years. It's kind of a plum tree. Here we've got, look at that. That is apple blossom. Smells like apples. It is a camellia. Smells like apples. This was a cutting that I had made, but I've never actually seen it flower. Here's one. I can come past it. Here's another that I'd made. You see, again, something's going wrong with the leaf at this end of the garden. I think somebody's using something nasty, like spraying. Here, look at this. Wow. Oh, look. My dirty old hands. How about that? All these are winter flowers. We're in winter time, it's December. And even so, my white rose is going wild still. She's hard to film. She goes. She's very, very pretty. Here I've got more camellias. I won't give you all the names because I've got a problem with remembering who was who. And then Sonia gave us this plant. It's time to cut back. And Ian gave us this plant as well, Sonia and Ian, because they were here to visit. Thanks, guys. And since then, I've put in other and they're all obviously dying back, it's winter. So, camellias, there are more. So here, I know who she is. This is Midnight Magic with darker kind of flowers. Something's going on, because look at all these, look. These shouldn't be falling off. Something's going on. Here we've got another lady coming in to flower of the red or pink variety, if I can get the camera to it. Oops. Can't, can't get the camera to it. Uh, I can now. Pink or red or variety. Here we've got another one. Came into flower and then kind of just stopped opening. Don't know what's going on to these plants this year. Here we've got another little camellia that looks like it's going to flower late and not too many. It's actually the same age as that one over there but it doesn't seem to grow so much. I'm going to have to have these roots out here. There are more this is all planted in the last few years, if you've seen any of the videos before. This was all small and some of it was non-existent. This is kind of mine, my medicinal herb patch, part of, part of the medicinal herbs. Then we've got more fruit trees. All these fruit trees of what we've planted this last three years. And then there's down there as well. 
that's all veggies and this is kind of like my whatever you call it garden thank you